Hello, everyone. This is Alamjeet Flora from Porthos Events, bringing you live the Wednesday talk show. The Wednesday talk show is brought to you by Porthos Events from Sweden. We are a Sweden-based company, and you can catch up with us on our Facebook, or also we are on YouTube, and you can subscribe to our channels to see what we are up with. So thank you so much for joining us. It will be great if you can also uh, tell us from where you're joining. So uh, it's really nice to know from where our viewers are coming. So uh, uh, today's guest is Anna Joyce, uh, and we are very happy to have her. Uh, I believe that we all are talented and gifted individuals. We all wish to pursue our big and small dreams and make a mark in our family, community, country, or world. Most of the time, getting attention is the key. As individuals, as growing companies, and even established enterprises, everyone likes to be acknowledged for their hard work and get validation testimonials of the work that we do. Many struggle to challenge their efforts, to reach out to the target audience, and at times maintaining sustainability becomes a challenge. In this situation, some may lose the confidence to demand their space. What helps is someone believing in us, motivating us, and giving us the right tools of marketing, branding, strategies, and make us sing the song of success. Well. Our today's guest, Anna Joyce, is the answer to many of those questions as she specializes in three subjects, motivation, marketing, and music. Her Insta po Instagram posts are very, very interesting. One of my favorite is you can decide where you want to go in life or wonder where life went. Anna began her, stage, her career on stage at the age of 12 years old and very quickly discovered her power of being able to motivate, touch, and entertain an audience. To date, she has shared scenes with the big names in Europe and United States. At her home arena here in Sweden, she thrives the best, and she has touched great heights in music world and entrepreneurial world. She is currently a partner in a global company, Banana, Basic Bananas Nordics. And she has most recently also appeared on TEDx with her topic on secret formula for success. She wants to make a difference to many people, one person at a time. So we are glad to bring to you today, Anna Jewess. So please help me welcome her. Hello. Hi, <laughs> Welcome. Wow, what an introduction. Yeah. I'm very I honored. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Anna. Thank you. You know, thank I was you. a big fan of you the minute I saw you. Uh, Ooh, so wow. I'm so happy to have you on our show, the Wednesday. Thank you. So welcome and namaste from all namaste. the Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Anna, I did read a lot about you and, uh, you know, your journey has been uh, so inspiring. Uh, from the age of 12 years old, you have, uh, you know, evolved. So I'm sure it's the journey of self-discovery and you have, uh, you know, had some discipline and uh, a lot of learnings on the way. So please explain and please also give insights of that journey to our viewers. Oh, wow. Well, the the stage journey began in, well, when I was 12. And I was a shy little girl when I was 12. I was singing at an event and actually a competition and i was really scared my mom forced me to um, to practice in front of my nine-year-old brother and uh, it was a disaster he, they just he and his friends just laughed um it was not the best audience but it was a good practice because the the day after i was going on stage and my mom was back uh on the on the keyboard and i sang very shyly um like you can't even hear what hear hear what i sang but uh, when i was there i actually fell in love with the stage and i knew i could could uh, reach out to people and and touch their hearts and and do something more uh, so i decided then and there that i'm gonna become a singer and um I pursued my dreams. I'm now a singer. And I also, in the grown up stage of my life, I also figured out that I wanted to be something more than just a singer because I could touch people's hearts in other ways than just by my songs, my music. So, um, what I write about today, what I, what I write about in my music, in my lyrics, 
are the things that I actually talk about. It's motivation and it's empowerment and it's joy and and just about having fun and making life the best life you ever had because you only get one, of course. So um, I started my own business, my first own business in 2011 when I was uh, singing at a friend's mom's wedding. And it actually was an accident. <laughs> I, I accidentally started a company because she said, after I was singing there, she said, wow, this is so good. I need you to come and, uh, and sing at our event in three months because you have a company, right? And I was like, yeah, of course, <laughs> let's do it. And one week later, I, I got the company. I, I started my first company. And then I, well, I started to educate myself because uh, in psychology, I've always been in love with psychology because it's so strong. Psychology is how the mind works. And we can use that in entrepreneurship. We can use that in relationships. We can use that in every aspect of our lives. So that became very interesting. And I started to study that and uh, I came into marketing and speaking. And since then I've been falling in love with marketing and uh, building my own companies and just having fun along the way. And my biggest mission is to empower people to have fun along the way. So that's a short, <laughs> short yeah. description. There is more, but, <laughs> but uh, we don't have a, a whole lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. But a good accident to start a good company that you have come yeah. so far now. So uh, more accidents like that. Yeah, more accidents. We need more. <laughs> yeah, we need more. Exactly. Like, wow, you're now helping so many. So I, I, I know that you are, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, if I can say you're like a guru in marketing and, and branding. So uh, what I uh, know nowadays is that people are, you know, looking at uh, uh, marketing and, uh, you know, trying to use uh, tools like um, right now, the social media, like Facebook, Insta. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure uh, like, you know, many, uh, many enterprises who are small and want to grow and they have limited, you know, budgets. Uh, they do go on these platforms. But can you just elaborate on what more like if they're not looking at that side, what could be, uh, you know, what could help them? So the first misconception about marketing is that many people say many people that I meet is they say marketing costs so much money. But the actual truth is that probably 80% of marketing is free. I mean completely free. And if you're going to get free marketing, you have to look at branding and your own brand. Because if you only look at what your company has for products or services, and you don't look at the person behind the company, which is me in my case, and you in your case, and whoever you are, there's always a person behind the company. And we want to buy from a person and not from a product or service. So what, what I have seen along the way in social media is that people are not really thinking about how they are perceived and uh, seen in online. So they're not thinking about how, what feelings we evoke from uh, social media. So I think that the, the best thing we can do is to maybe start writing down some words that are your power words. I always speak about power words. So yeah. my power words, for example, is empowerment and motivation and joy and, and like just having fun. and making life easier, making business more fun. So that's a, a few words that I use and I actually use them everywhere I go and, and with with the energy that I give. So, and I'm all about having fun. I just love having fun and everybody loves having fun, of course. Uh, but they, for, they forget to have fun because they have to be so serious. They put on the business suits and they're gonna look like a, a serious and professional human being that knows their shit. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, <laughs> but I get engaged. Um, so I just I just wanna encourage people to to be clear. That is actually a key to be clear exactly what you sell and to be clear about exactly what feelings you need to evoke. Uh, to the audience, what what feelings do you want them to feel when they engage with you? 
because that, that way you can attract them in instead of hunting them down or, or chasing them. Yeah. So, so clear, a clear vision, a clear mission, a clear everything should be so clear for you or yeah. for a five year old, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely. It starts from self, like what you want to, uh, you know, communicate and, uh, you know, uh, clearing your thought process, what you want to, uh, you know, send it to the audience. But then, um, uh, what about, uh, you know, uh, putting it across? What are the mediums that they can uh, use uh, to, to promote themselves? Like, how can, uh, what could be their, uh, you know, their to go tools? Um, so the first thing I would say is to to form a, some sort of a strategy. We talk a lot about this on on the Basic Bananas uh, web sh um, yeah. webinars, um, and we we form a strategy. We help them form a strategy to to know exactly what to do, to know what channel they should uh, they should go for the most. It's always good to have a head channel, and that's where your customers are, of course. And then we we try to get them to be as clear as possible. And to one thing they uh, usually forget: entrepreneurs always forget this. Not not always, but usually they forget it. It's to bring out the why, and that's the frustrations of the customers and the desires of the customers. I mean, the results, desires and results. So we need to evoke these things out of, we need to make them understand what we are talking about. We need to talk to them at a personal level. So I say, I would say three things are very important online when you're doing, when you're creating content, it should be educational, entertaining, or empowering. So those three things are so important. And actually the biggest, biggest, biggest meaning, the sentence you need when you're posting online is what's in it for me. And I don't mean me, I mean my customers, what's in it for them. So you should always think that before you post, is this valuable, is this entertaining, or is this educational, or is this empowering in some way? And if it is, go for it. If it's not, it's just you trying to look pretty or look cool or whatever you're trying to do. So, and that won't work if you just post pictures, random pictures of yourself, which I see a lot of people do, or your food or your cat or whatever it is. <laughs> so just just um, post meaningful things for your customers and then you get the right customers in. That's okay. Good. So, uh, so yeah, of course, uh, once you, uh, get the customers, how, how do you, uh, what's the right way to analyze that your brand is having some effect, uh, and you know, because you need to know if you're going in the right direction, uh, yeah. with all the efforts that you're putting in. So how, how do you track it? Uh, and I would when say, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would say that you actually, well, for me, it was, I'm tracking it by getting gigs. So um, I get a speaking gigs or music gigs or whatever gig I'm getting uh, because I kind of see um, not always immediate, but most of the time immediate results. When I, when I post a video that uh, people react to and people uh, engage in, I see if they're engaging, I'm, I'm succeeding. So, um, and usually when that happens, well, first of all, I would say branding, it takes time. We can just, well, you can start like today and then maybe have a gig tomorrow, but that is that is pure luck. Yeah. <laughs> um, so branding takes time. You have to start now and you don't have to be done to start. You have, you have to start, just start wherever you are. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can, you can fix it along the way. But so so I decided when I decided to become a speaker, I uh, decided to tell the world I was so happy. I was going to tell the world I'm a, I'm a speaker. I'm going to be a speaker. I'm going to make money on this and have fun and be on big stages all over the world. And um, all my friends and family actually said the same thing. They said that uh, and I kind of quote wow that's amazing good for you uh but you can always go back to your regular job 
<laughs> and when I heard that, it was, I, I clearly heard that their fear was taking over and they're trying to give me advice based on their fear. So I just decided not to listen to their fear. And it was very, it, I liked it kind of because it meant that they cared about me, of course, uh, but I didn't want to go back to my regular job. I wanted to be a speaker. <laughs> So if I would have listened to that, I would never have been a speaker, become a speaker. So fear is something that stops us. And that's something I see online all the time that entrepreneurs, they don't have the guts. They don't dare to stand out in their own way. And they don't, they don't stand out and show their colors and their personality because they're afraid to be judged. And that, that's one of the biggest fear we have to be criticized for what we are and what we have. So I think the best thing we can do is just be ourselves and have fun and dare to have fun. Yeah, very, very true. Yeah, it is always, uh, you know, full of self doubt when uh, you are starting off a journey. So uh, can you give us some simple tips like what we can do to, you know, brain power ourselves and, uh, you know, uh, go ahead, uh, uh, in in these situations yeah so there is actually only one answer to that uh the biggest and yet only answer would be to stop caring about other people's opinions about you and we do that with the uh, training we we have to train ourselves to not giving a douche <laughs> about i don't know what that was and not giving a damn about other people's opinion about you because they don't actually care they only care about this uh about yourself their selves so but we have to practice that it's not like going to the gym and be strong forever you have to go to the gym and work out so you can be strong a long time so this takes practice and we need to start as soon as possible because if we don't start, if we continue to care about what other people think about you, we will be stopped wherever we are. We, we won't grow because if, if they stop us, we can't go any further. So you yourself have to be the, the starter of this thing to, to, um, to learn how to not care about other people's opinion about you. That's that's probably the the easiest answers answer. Yeah. So the key is like uh, being self motivated uh, to have I think uh, experts uh, like you also uh, to guide us, help us. Uh, you know, very often uh, yeah. we just don't know uh, where to take the next step. Maybe we can take a few, but then what do we do? Uh, you know, going ahead. So yeah. 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 A lot of people feel uh, lost when they when they start their entrepreneurial journey, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, they don't know what to do. And I wish actually that I got that I would have gotten a coach from the beginning or mentor or whatever, uh, just someone to help me and hold my hand through the journey so I can learn to grow faster and build my confidence because I was, as I said in the beginning, I was a shy little girl. <laughs> And yeah. I just wanted to have fun and be on stage and, and help people and, and reach out to the world and, and enjoy my life and enjoy seeing other people grow. And I realized if I, if I want to do that, I need to grow myself. I, I need to be empowered my, myself. So I learned how to empower myself and stop caring about other people's opinion about me. Yeah, true. That's that's wonderful because uh, that's a brain uh, power that we need uh, to you know keep going because life brings many many hurdles, and yeah, uh, yeah you need to just just keep moving ahead. Uh, of course, uh, when you uh, you know as you move ahead, you also uh, create uh, you know a, a team uh, with you, and the team also needs to be uh, motivated enough to give you the results uh, you know to sustain. So uh, what could you, uh, you know, suggest to the ent uh, entrepreneurs, uh, like how they could motivate their team and how important it is to, you know, take everyone together? Yeah, I would say for starters uh, to, to um, recruit team members that uh, that are on the same page that you are. Uh, so they have the same 
ambiance, the same power words that you you um, you have provided for the world, you, they should be aligned with that. And if they're not, it's probably not the worth working together. And also, I em empower my my team members to have fun. We need to have fun and uh, own responsibility. I would say um, that's probably the three things that I I would say to empower a team. Um, have just have your own um, uh, work ethics. I would say um, uh, there's a Swedish word for <laughs> word for it. Frihet under ansvar. Uh, and that means like you have freedom, but you have responsibilities too. So, but you're you you are empowered to take your own responsibility. And um, I think the most important thing is have fun because if they, if they work for me and they don't have fun, it's not a good match. It's not a good match. So they have to have fun. That's my my key priority <laughs> in life and in business. Yeah, true. You need to keep your team motivated to get your own goals also. Yeah, uh, so, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I know that uh, you are a founder in Basic uh, Basic Bananas also, which is a marketing uh, organization. So what, what are your, uh, you know, uh, clients looking for and uh, how do you help them uh, in achieving those yeah, goals? so uh, Basic Bananas uh, Australia start, it started in Australia and uh, we have started our own Basic Bananas here in, in, in Sweden. And it's entrepreneurs that comes to us that are confused. They don't have a marketing plan. They don't, they're, they don't know what to do next. They don't know how to get clients or customers. Mm, they're confused and frustrated because the money's not rolling in. And they just want uh, someone to show the way and someone that has a good system that has been proven and actually works and we've seen results. So that's why I, I just wanted to to start this, uh, this uh, Basic Banana Sweden and help more entrepreneurs here in Stockholm and in, in Sweden. And th they come to us because they want a plan. Actually, they want a plan or strategy to know exactly what to do. So that's what we help them with. We start a market one main one page marketing plan for them, and uh, so they they could just easily implement that in their business right away. So um, we have a, a mentorship program that we call the Clever Bunch, and that's a year long program that we it's it's a workshop program. So we kind of hold their hands for a year and just bring them on and just come come over here. Here's success. Here's fun. Here's motivation. Here's empowerment. And here's a strategy for you to know exactly what to do with your marketing to reach out to new customers. So that's what, what makes it so much fun because I've never been a fan of sale, selling before. Um, but this thing actually sells itself because it's so I don't have to do anything because it's I just explain what we have and the people love it. We actually see so many results that it's amazing. I It's amazing to work in this uh, this company because we see so many entrepreneurs uh, grow every day. So that's that's what makes it fantastic to work in. <laughs> Great. Uh, what are the challenges that you know usually these entrepreneurs have? Like uh, in Sweden, it's it's not a very easy market. Um, so, what are the challenges that are like common that you see amongst uh, these guys? I would say that the biggest challenge is uh, that well, it's actually a myth that, mm -hmm. that marketing is expensive. That they yeah. have to to spend so many. Uh, dollars or kroners or wherever you are so many so much money on uh, marketing so they don't actually start mark to market themselves mm -hmm. so but you actually you need money to invest in marketing but then you need well if you need money to <laughs> it's it's a kind of a, an evil circle that you don't have the money but you need it for marketing so you can invest in more marketing so it's it's kind of confusing for them but but i i usually say that 80 percent of marketing is free and you just have to put in some time and uh, maybe you need a, a coach or a mentor and that 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 way you have to invest of course some money but that will 
give you'll get it back as soon as you start implementing our our things and we we have guarantees also because we know that this works so we we just love what we do and it means that we can help more people that's what we continue and just go they they go through our system and they just have fun because it's so much fun to see them grow and and see the work that they do and and see the sparkle in their eyes when they succeed and win something and we celebrate them for it. So we have a lot of fun in our in our company. Yeah, I'm sure uh, it must be and uh, who doesn't like uh, getting successful and you know someone exactly. really helping them and uh, you know achieving yeah. their uh, goals. Yeah, so so great uh, uh how are uh, you know uh, in in sweden it's like it's quite uh, like for us like i am talking about from the indian uh, point of view we do have challenges with the language and uh, things like that so what's what's your suggestion like if we want to get into uh, you know uh, the other market like the swedish market is english an acceptable uh, language that oh yes can absolutely swedish people are so good at english <laughs> well maybe not the oldest part the people in sweden but but absolutely the the ones that are in business now they are pretty good not everybody of course but a lot of people are very good in english so if you know english you're good to go i've seen a bunch of american companies come here and sell like crazy i've seen uh european companies come in here and sell like crazy so it works and i would say sweden and especially stockholm is an entrepreneurial like city yeah, that uh, really are we're driven and we we love what we do and we love success and we love going forth and and grow so yeah. uh, we are excited we're hungry so <laughs> that's why yeah. sweden is very good for for entrepreneurs yeah my question was more uh, regarding yeah of course the large companies can have big budgets and they can you know set up and do everything it was more of these you know who are starting up and want to uh, do something here so it's good that uh, its language is not such a barrier and they can start because english is very global uh, you know acceptable yeah, absolutely so, yeah and it doesn't matter the size of your your company it just just go for it because sweden is amazing in english i would say yeah it is <laughs> it is like uh, stockholm definitely is yeah. uh, you don't really need to know uh, swedish but yeah it's good to know it always helps yeah, uh, yeah absolutely it's the city of the world <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely i know uh, uh, so uh, uh, i just wanted to uh, tell you that you know we are uh, uh, you know acknowledging this month as uh, the breast cancer month for through pothos also uh we uh, do not uh, we have not tied up with any uh, you know uh, organization as such but yeah we encourage everyone to contribute towards it so as a woman uh, do you have any message for other women for empowering uh, yes, empowering, for empowering message yes of course um yeah a, a little bit about what i talked about i would say go for it <laughs> it's probably my best my best sentence because and don't let fear stop you ever fear should not stop you and i think as, as soon as we start to stop caring about what other people think of us i would say we become free and just try it for once maybe you get just go into a room and with that with that thought in mind and just feel like okay i'm in here but i don't care about what what other people think about me i can just be myself and do whatever i feel like here that is an empowering feeling to feel that feeling i i will give you an example when i studied um psychology uh 2012 we were having a, an evening session and uh, it was kind of a relaxed session you you come if you want to you don't have to join if you want don't want to so it was uh, free it was dancing and uh, we danced and uh we, we were supposed to dance to a, a certain song and when we danced we could just he told us to just release ourselves and just go crazy and do whatever you want to but i was a little bit shy even then so i stood in the corner and like dancing like normal people dance and then i just said to myself then and there said to myself why do i even care what these people think about me 
why do I even care? So I decided then and there to stop caring about what those people thought of me. And I just danced like crazy. And it was um, an amazing experience. I was just, I was so free. I couldn't have been, I couldn't have been more freer. So just by just thinking those, th those uh, thoughts, when you walk into a room, it's like, I don't even have to care about what other people think about me. It makes you so much freer than you've ever, just try it. <laughs> I can imagine, Anna, if you're saying that you were a shy kid and I've seen you perform on the stage. So, yep. okay, that's something that's, happened. Oh, something <laughs> definitely happened. So, yes, yeah. fearless, definitely. All the women out there, just don't fear. Get yeah. up and do what you want to do. So, that's yes. really a great message, Anna. Thank you so much for today. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. And it was a great session. We learned so much from you. Thank you. Keep having the fun that you have. Enjoy. Always. It. Bye. Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Yes, that was Anna Joes from our very own Sweden. And she was here to, uh, you know, uh, share so much with everyone. So thank you for joining today. Next week, we have Nivedita Basu. Have you heard about Kasoti Zindagi ki? Kabhi Saas Bhi Kabhi Bahuthi? All these serials have been helmed by Nivedita Basu. She was with Balaji Telefilms and she was the creative director for these uh, shows. So join us to know what went behind the scenes, what happens in the television world. You have a big celebrity coming next week. So join us next week at the Wednesday Talk Show. See you. Have a great week ahead. Bye.